our key verse of the week for grass for this week of June 27th is Titus chapter 3 and verse 7. The verse says that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. And I will read it again. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. We should be made heirs is what this verse says. And that is according to the hope of eternal life. According to dictionary.com, an heir is a person who inherits or has a right of inheritance in the property of another following the latter's death. From Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 22, we conclude that an inheritance is a gift of a good father to his descendants. The New Testament has much to say about spiritual inheritance. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 7, Paul wrote, You are no more a servant but a son, and as a son you are an heir of God through Christ. In Ephesians 1.14, We are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance. Colossians 1 and verse 12 tells us about the Father which made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints of light. And the book of Hebrews says, because you serve the Lord, you shall receive the reward of the inheritance. And 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 4, to, we will have an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away it is reserved in heaven for you. We are made heirs by the process of new birth and receiving also the spirit of adoption. Legally, in heaven, when we have those experiences, we become heirs of God. A young man once asked an old rich man how he had made his money. The old guy fingered his expensive wool vest and said, well, son, it was 1932, the depth of the Great Depression. I was down to my last nickel. I invested that nickel in an apple. I spent the entire day polishing that apple and at the end of the day, I sold the apple for 10 cents. The next morning, I invested those 10 cents in two apples. I spent the entire day polishing them and sold them at 5 p.m. for 20 cents. I continued this system for one month. And by the end of that month, I'd accumulated a fortune of $9.80. After that, the old rich man continued, I invested the $9.80 into a market stall so I could polish and display a lot more apples. I began making about $50 a month from then on. Then my wife's father died and left us $2 million. Like the man who shined and sold apples, whatever we did in our efforts to obtain treasure in heaven fell really short of the mark. The real wealth that we have in heaven is not our own righteousness, but it's that of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at Titus chapter 3 and verse 5. Just two verses prior to our verse of the week. The verses leading up to our verse of the week says this, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. 
The word regeneration is in reference to the new birth. And the word renewing speaks of the complete change that the Holy Ghost made in us. The mercy of God is responsible for making us heirs according to the hope of eternal life. If you read through the third chapter of the book of Titus in its entirety, you will soon discover that it is, that it is expected of heirs to be careful to maintain good works. Nevertheless, none of his heirs can profess to be a self-made man in the kingdom of God. We did the equivalent of shine a few apples, and that's about it. We are who we are, and will inherit what we inherit solely out of the goodness and generosity of our Heavenly Father. Our song of the week goes with this, is the song, When I Walk Up the Streets of Gold. And specifically, I'm looking at verses 2 and 3. With joy I shall enter that city, the face of my Savior behold, and I shall be changed and be like him when I walk up the streets of gold. What wonderful visions of beauty, what glorious scenes shall unfold, and what dazzling splendor surround me when I walk up the streets of gold. When I walk up the streets of gold, when I walk up the streets of gold, how my heart will rejoice in that morning when I walk up the streets of gold. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I praise you for your grace which justified us I praise you for your kindness, your love, and your mercy that made all the difference in our life. The Holy Ghost that cleansed us and gave us new life and hope. I know that your word declares those who have experienced these things are your heirs. None of us could ever be worthy of the inheritance that you promised. But I pray that all of us will be faithful and careful in life so as not to dishonor your name as we wait for our inheritance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One church, one God, one gospel. Southern Oaks United Pentecostal Church.